second read of chapter five on work in section one is entitled work. What is work? Have you done any work today? To many people, the word work means something they do to earn money. In that sense, work can be anything from filling fast food orders or loading trucks to teaching or doing word processing on a computer. The word work also means exerting a force with your muscles. Someone might say they have done work when they push as hard as they can against the wall that doesn't move. However, in science, the word work is used in a different way. Work makes something move. Press your hand against the surface of your desk as hard as you can. Have you done any work? The answer is no. No matter how tired your effort makes you feel, remember that a force is a push or a pull. In order for work to be done, a force must make something move. Work is the transfer of energy that occurs when a force makes an object move. If you push against the desk and nothing moves, then you haven't done any work. Doing work. There are two conditions that have to be satisfied for work to be done on an object. One is that the applied force must make the object move. And the other is that the movement must be in the same direction as the applied force. For example, if you pick up a pile of books from the floor, as in figure one, you do work on the books. The books move upward in the direction of the force you are applying. If you hold the books in your arms without moving the books, you are not doing work on the books. You're still applying an upward force to keep the books from falling, but no movement is taking place. Force and direction of motion. When you carry books while walking, like the student in figure two, you might think that your arms are doing work. After all, you're exerting, exerting a force on the books with your arms, and the books are moving. Your arms might even feel tired. However, in this case, the force exerted by your arms does no work on the books. The force exerted by your arms on the books is upward, but the books are moving horizontally. The force you exert is at right angles to the direction the books are moving. As a result, your arms exert no force in the direction the books are moving. Work and energy. How are work and energy related? When work is done, a transfer of energy also always occurs. <laughs> This is easy to understand when you think about how you feel after carrying a heavy box up a flight of stairs. Remember that when the height of an object above our surface increases, the potential energy of the object increases. You transfer energy from your moving muscles to the box and increase its potential energy by increasing its height. You may recall that energy is the ability to cause change. Another way to think of energy is that energy is the ability to do work. If something has energy, it can transfer energy to another object by doing work on that object. When you do work on an object, you increase its energy. The student carrying the box in figure three transfers chemical energy in his muscles to the box. Energy is always transferred from the object that is doing the work to the object on which the work is done. Calculating work. The amount of work done depends on the amount of force exerted and the distance over which the force is applied. When a force is exerted and an object moves in the direction of the force, the amount of work done can be calculated as follows. follows. Work in joules because it's a force, equals force, an applied force in newtons times the distance in meters. 
In this equation, work is measured in newtons. In this equation, force is measured in newtons. And, and distance is measured in meters, m. Recall that doing work on an object increases its energy. That means work, like energy, is measured in units of joules. The amount of force work needed to lift a basketball from your waist to your head would be about 4 joules. Work equation. Solve for work. You push the refrigerator with a force of 100 newtons. If you move the refrigerator a distance of 5 meters while you're pushing, how much work do you do? Number one, this is what you know. You have an applied force, F, of 100 newtons and a distance, D, of 5 meters. This is what you need to find, work. Use this formula, work equals force times distance. Substitute the values of F and D into the formula and multiply. Work equals 100 times 5 equals 500. Determine the units. Units of work equals units of force times distance equals newton times meters equals joules. The work done is 500 joules. At this time, use the back of your note-taking guide or another piece of paper and solve questions, one, practice problems 1 through 4. What is work done? Suppose you give a, bush, a, bu a book a push and it slides along a table for a distance of one meter before it comes to a stop. The distance you use to calculate the work you did is how far the object moves while the force is being applied. Even though the book moved one meter, you do work on the book only while your hand is in contact with it. The distance in the formula for work is the distance the book moved while your hand was pushing on the book. As figure 4 shows, work is done on an object only when a force is being applied to the object. In figure 4, a picture pitcher exerts a force on the ball to throw it to the catcher. After the ball leaves her hand, she no longer is exerting any force on the ball. She does work on the ball only while it is in her hand. Power. Suppose you and another student are pushing boxes of books up the ramp to load them into a truck. To make the job more fun, you make a game of it, racing to see who can push a box up the ramp faster. The boxes weigh the same, but your friend is able to push a box a little faster than you can. She moves a box up the ramp in 30 seconds. It takes you 45 seconds. You both do the same amount of work on the books because the boxes weigh the same and are moved the same distance. The only difference is the time it takes to do the work. In this game, your friend has more power than you do. Power is the amount of work done in one second. It is a rate, the rate at which work is done. Calculating power. Power is the rate at which work is done. To calculate power, divide the work done by the time that is required to do the work. Power in watts, a new term, a new unit, equals work in joules divided by time in seconds. Power equals W over T. The SI unit for power is the watt. One watt equals one joule of work done in one second. It takes about 20 watts of power to lift a two liter bottle of soft drink a distance of one meter in one second. Because the watt is a small unit, power often is expressed in kilowatts. One kilowatt equals a thousand watts. Power equation. Solve for power. You do 900 joules of work in pushing a sofa. If it took 5 seconds to move the sofa, how much power did you use? Number 1, this is what you know. Work done equals 900 joules. The time equals 5 seconds. This is what you need to find. Power, P. Use this formula. P equals W over T. Substitute the values of W and T into the formula and divide. 
900 divided by 5 equals 180. Determine the units. The units of power equals the units of W divided by the units of T equals J over S equals W. The symbol for word W is usually italicized. However, the abbreviation for Watt W is not italicized. That's how you keep them apart. Okay, your turn. Solve problems one through four. And again, use the back of your note-taking guide or another sheet of paper. Power and energy. Doing work is a way of transferring energy from one object to another, just as power is the rate at which work is done. Power is also the rate at which energy is transferred. When energy is transferred, the power involved can be calculated by dividing the energy transferred by the time needed for the transfer to occur. Power equation for energy transfer. Power, again in watts, equals energy transferred in joules divided by time. T equals E over T. Very similar to the power formula for work. P equals W over T. For example, when the light bulb in figure 5 is connected to an electric circuit, energy is transferred from the circuit to the light bulb filament. The filament converts the electrical energy supplied to the light bulb into heat and light. The power used by the light bulb is the amount of electrical energy transferred to the light bulb each second. So for figure 5, this 100 watt light bulb converts electrical energy into light and heat at a rate of 100 joules per second. To summarize section 1, work and energy. Work is done on an object when a force is exerted on the object and it moves in the direction of the force. If a force F is exerted on an object while the object moves a distance D in the direction of the force, then work is done. W equals F times D. When work is done on an object, energy is transferred to the object. Power. Power is the rate at which work is done or energy is transferred. When work is done, power can be calculated from the equation P equals W over T. When energy is transferred, power can be calculated from the equation P equals E over T. Okay, it's your turn to try the section one self-check questions. Again, using the back of your note-taking guide or another piece of paper, answer questions one through seven. And this will conclude the lecture notes for chapter five, section one.